So now we're waiting in line for a restaurant. It's very busy. I mean, it's like noonish, one o'clock, and there's a wait there in a queue. We got a little queue thing. We're lining up to ride our horse. <laughs> That's what the translation thing told us. <laughs> and now it's here. No. I don't know what it's. What is it called? Queen King Gigi Ching on taste. That was perfect pronunciation. They call me Ni Hao. Is that racist? I don't know. <laughs> okay. We're in. Wow, it's busy in here. We got some flat boy noodle heads. And that's officially what they're called, guys. So it's it's food from the Shaanxi province, which is in the northwest. I'm not 100% sure like what their big city is there, but I just know it's in the northwest because I looked up what these noodles are. And these noodles are just like on the wall. There's also some buns we got, so we got to imagine they're popular, but it kind of looks spicy. These noodles are called like young bong or something like that, or something with B's and A's and N's and G's, and there's an I in there too, but <laughs> that's what they're called. So I guess I'll just mix this up. I would assume that's what you're supposed to do. Mix all these oils around, the garlics around. It's a big bowl, but like five noodles. I thought this was corn, but it's not. What is it? I thought it was corn too. I don't know. It's like some sort of bean or something. Whoa, that smells really good. It smells, oh, come on, dude. This is going to get messy, I think. I'm trying to grab these big noodles and there's a red sauce. Don't wear your white shirts today, anybody. All right, well, it's pretty mixed up. These are gonna slide right out of the chopsticks for sure. Let me grab my bowl and I will indulge myself on a young bong. That's right, don't even ask. Chili oil with chopstick. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's so big. I'm getting launched. How do you get this out? I'm gonna try to cut it. I'm gonna try to cut it. This might be illegal. But it's my only option at this point. We're here, ready to rock and roll, baby. As Jablinski Games would say, oh, these are slippery boys. Yeah, they're just gonna launch. Oh my gosh, it's just so big. It's like a lasagna noodle. I'll dive in just so you can so you can know if it's spicy or not, so you can prepare yourself. All right. That's good. It's very interesting because it's not like a, since it's an oil, it's not like, it's not a sauce. So it doesn't come with these saucy flavors. It just has a very mild, oily texture and sensation in your mouth. The spice is very, very mild. Not much at all. They should be fine. Did we prepare with our chopstick skills before we came to China? I went to like one restaurant that had chopsticks before we went and then I didn't use them. That's pretty epic. All right, I'm gonna try to eat now. Jump in. Oh gosh, I'm getting worse. Ooh, the texture is just amazing. This is a good old sloppy nude. Thank you. And yeah, overall very delicious. It's not like a crazy slappy on the face. It's more of a smooth flavor throughout. It's a pretty like natural kind of flavor. It's nice. It is what it is. You can see how it's gonna taste from the outside, which is good. What is this? It's green. This tastes like a green vegetable. We'll move it over to the dumplings. These are pork and other thing dumplings. So this will be an interesting one to try. We got them dipped in the sauce and we'll just down them and clown them. The sauce is very different than the usual. It's hard to pinpoint the sauce. It's obviously a soy sauce base with some vinegar in there. But I don't know, there's something about it that is definitely different. It's got like a deep taste to it. I don't know how you describe it. Maybe it's, maybe it's like a dark soy sauce or something. Yeah, it's got like a deep dark flavor in there. They're definitely, they're not soup dumplings. But they're really good. So I think soup dumplings always pack a little more punch when you bite into them. These ones are definitely very good steamed pork dumplings. Pretty solid, pretty solid. I would eat a lot of those because they're easy to pop back they're poppable i think i prefer this over the dumplings i'm liking the dumplings more really so far. look at that you get two different opinions mm -hmm. welcome to tri-fate where it may say three but it's only two now we're gonna move on to these pork buns which 
are very interesting and they're very heavily advertised about this place. The outside so far is sort of like a puffy pastry. Whoa, it's like a croissant. A croissant. A croissant. Let's fracking down this, I'm ready. Oh wow, very, very croissanty. Okay. The meat is juicy. It's like a pulled pork. It is, but it's got some Chinese spices in there. Mm. It's really like a pulled pork. And this one's not spicy at all. Uh-uh. He was very scared about if these things would be spicy. Nothing's too bad. No. And it's got sort of a bit of a sweetness in there. Honestly, this wouldn't strike me as a Chinese dish. No, it wouldn't. This would strike me as like a Eastern European dish almost. Meat stuffed in a bread. It's unique and it works really well. Oh, that's good. That's Very really tasty. Good. And finally we have skewers and these claim to be mutton. It looks like mutton. We'll see what they are when we put them in, even if, if we could even tell. I don't know if I'm confident that we'd eat a meat and we'd be like, yeah, that's mutton. <laughs> Let's go. It smells like Indian food. It's really soft and tender, but also squishy on the inside. Please don't skew my eyeball, please. What'd you say? All the flavors on the outside. Oh wait, oh, this is a very unique sensation in my mouth. It's got sort of like this spicy aroma, but it's not super spicy. It has a, um, it tastes like masala. It kind of has that masala feel where it's like, it smells spicy, but then it just tastes like masala. This has the most total flavor out of anything we've eaten. It's definitely completely caked in whatever seasoning they put on this, because you can feel the granules of seasoning as you bite into it. It almost has like a oregano on it or something. There's sesame seeds. Right there, the long, those little boys might be some oregano. <laughs> Or it has something of the sort where it's like an herb. It kind of reminds me of a pizza. A pizza. A dang pizza on a stick. Well, that was our fracking meal here and it was pretty dang solid. Our Chinese feast. 